Happy greetings, everyone. I am Crystal Foreman, the owner and educator of Holistic Wellness and Health, where we make healthy living easy, nutritious, delicious, and fun, with a focus on plant-based food and meditation to help you live a healthier, compassionate, and more vibrant life. Today, we are making kiwi ice cream using some of the kiwis I've received from some of our friends in the Holistic Wellness and Health community. And we are going to, I'm going to talk about making kiwi sorbet, but I'm going to actually make the vegan um, kiwi ice cream. So let's get started, actually. So I have my beautiful kiwi here. If you didn't know this, you can actually eat the whole fruit. Just take off that little end part. I'm going to do something different than what most people do with their kiwis um, and their kiwi sorbet. And I'm going to actually leave the skin on. So, all you have to do is to slice it through. So it makes it prep a lot easier. When you blend your kiwi, like if you're making a smoothie with it, you can um, easily leave the skin on and it will blend well into your smoothie. If you have a Vitamix, it'll actually crush up the seeds too. Um, but for this, we're gonna use our food processor. So you just wanna do four kiwis. Slice it up. And then you're just going to put that in the freezer. So we have some already frozen and ready to go. If you want to take the skin off, you can. I just like to leave the skin on because there's a lot of fiber in that skin as well as a lot of other nutrients. So I just want to use it all. So we're going to put our kiwi right in here. So it's been out of the freezer for about 15 minutes. Um, but you can put it right in from out of the freezer. So we have four sliced kiwis here. We're putting it in our food processor and we're using the S blade for the food processor. To that, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of coconut cream. So I'm using coconut cream and not coconut milk. But if you have coconut milk, you can use that as well. You can also, um, if you don't like coconut, you can use any of the other plant-based milks out there and it'll still um, be fine. Um, I just like to use the coconut cream because it's a little extra creamier. Um, you can also use the vegan coffee creamers. They work well too. So I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of, or I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of my vanilla extract. So just a little, I'll give it a nice ice creamy flavor. Put my top on and blend this for a little bit. Okay, so we have our mixture here, and we're going to pour this back into our bowl that we used earlier to actually freeze the kiwi. I like to use glass, especially for something like this, but you can use plastic as well. Um, just make sure you leave enough room for it to expand in your container, the um, ice cream here, because it will expand some. So I'm just gonna put the top on. Our kiwis have a lot of health benefits. So it's very high in vitamin A and vitamin C. The vitamin C is great for your skin. You can actually take the peel, the ends here, and rub it right on your skin and um, like just leave it on like a mask and let it dry then rinse it off vitamin c will help the collagen in your skin both externally and internally by eating it the seeds are actually um does have protein in it and it also helps kind of clean out your system so definitely want to leave all of that in i have seen people remove the center of the kiwi when eating it you don't want to um, do that. You really can't eat all of it. Actually, the center part is pretty sweet. So eat it all. Um, and I think that's it for this part. But for those who are um, going to be in the Baltimore area in August, um, we have the Vegan Soul Fest coming up. And Holistic Wellness and Health is giving away some complimentary tickets. So if you want to win some tickets to the Vegan Soul Fest, which is happening August 19th through the 21st, um, all you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash holistic wellness and health. 
um, if you subscribe or if you've already subscribed, awesome. But um, once you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, um, you also need to make sure you have made a comment on this video within an hour or so of when I, I'm broadcasting. So I'm broadcasting this at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and you want to make a comment by about 6, 10 p.m. Eastern time on this post. So I'm keeping this video nice and short. So I'm not going to say while live because I know I'm keeping it short. So definitely um, make a comment. Then um, let me know you actually want the tickets because there are people watching these videos, friends all over the world. And so I know that some of them don't necessarily want tickets, but they love to say hi and say, do a shout out. Let me know they're watching. So if you actually want tickets, you need to tell me you want tickets to the Vegan Soul Fest. Um, and then um, make sure you share this as well. Share this video out. Um, you could do the sharing um, preferably within two hours of this video. So definitely make sure you have um, subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make a comment saying hello, put an emoji, say something during this video. And then you also want to um, say you actually want the tickets. So each ticket is worth $199. And I'm giving two people two tickets. So I'm giving away a total of four tickets. So um, for two lucky people, you'll win two three-day passes to the Vegan Soul Fest. And like I said, each ticket is worth $199. So definitely make sure you um, say something if you want tickets. If you have, if you're watching this from another state and you know people in Baltimore who want tickets or in the DMV area, definitely let them know as well. If you're on our emailing list, I will be sending out an email as well for opportunities to win tickets to the Vegan Soul Fest. But yeah, make sure you are one of the two lucky people. All you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, make a comment of some sort, at least one, during this video, and um, tell me you actually want the tickets. All right, peace and blessings, everyone. Let me show you our finished beautiful product here. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer for about two hours. And it's ready. You can actually eat it like this, like a smoothie bowl, if you want to. But yeah, so actually, let me do this. So there you go. All right, peace everyone, take care.